Hi, I'm Tim Pallon. I'm Paddy Pallon's grandson and managing director of Paddy Pallon. We've put together a series of stories about our company and its history. And we hope very much that you enjoy them. There are uh, a few um, things that are coming through at the moment which are quite fascinating um, materials. Um, we have new waterproof breathable fabrics that are coming out now which are going to entirely new levels beyond what we've ever experienced before. Um, we uh, are looking at fabrics which are dramatically more breathable, um, they're lightweight, you know, they've got all the advantages of, uh, of, of Gore-Texes, but moving into the next generations. Um, footwear just keeps going ahead in, in leaps and bounds. Um, you know, even when I started in the business, our staff would be regularly telling people that this is a great boot, but it's going to take you three months to break it in. This is something that doesn't happen really anymore. You know, if you pick a really stu st um, sturdy, hard boot, there'll be a certain amount of period to break it in, but most things we sell are pretty comfortable straight out of the box, um, which is, from the point of view of comfort and convenience, a complete revelation. And the... When I started in the business, all, all boots were basically never sold, and then you put nails, hobnails and clinkers and tricoonies onto the sole, and it... it it took quite an effort and quite a skilled person who had to drill holes in the sole and, and, and uh, to put these things on. And it, it was quite a, it was an art in the whole thing and it made a pair of boots quite expensive and quite heavy. And I think the environmental damage from many feet is less with the lighter weight footwear. Um, you know, people... Well, and you're not putting uh, yeah, steel onto rock anymore. Yeah. yeah. So, um, so PAX is another area where there's been dramatic change. Um, you know, even 10 years ago, we were um, largely selling canvas, synthetic canvas packs. Um, but packs have dropped, you know, one and a half kilograms in weight um, in many cases. Um, so almost halved their weight. Um, and the durability is very close to as good as it was. Um, so in that area, again, it comes down to comfort. So you're talking about lighter weight but fantastic harnesses fitting lots of different body shapes. I guess one of the really key things for, for today is um, and something that so many bushwalkers and people have been bushwalking for 50, 60 years are discovering is the ability to actually kit yourself out with really, really effective outdoor clothing that is so much lighter, so much durable and so much more you know, well, reliable than it, than it ever has been. Um, you uh, yeah. can get away with a, a pack which is, you know, 10 to 15 kilograms um, for a trip away. And that means that you're so much more agile, um, it's less tiring, it's more enjoyable. The less weight, the more fun. It's a you can carry more food. <laughs> you can carry more food.